just thought I'd do a little video on this new camping mat that I've ordered. Just arrived now. It's the Berghaus Peak Pro Insulated Air Mat. Where it's just 480 grams. And that's a really small pack size as well. It's like the size of my hand. Feels really lightweight as well. I mean, the, the camping mat I've been using is the Multi Mat Adventure. 38 which is just over 800 grams I mean I'm doing it a bit of an injustice here because it does pack down a little bit smaller than this it's just started to inflate again I must have left the valve open and it's inflated a little it does go smaller than that but yeah I've, I've enjoyed using this one it's been really good comfy and it's got a tog rate and a 5.3 as well it's a four season um, you can use it in weather up to minus 15 and the cold won't come through it so it's a really good really good camping mat that but I just wanted um, something a bit lighter and small small pack size so I come across this one got a good deal on it it's not self inflated but yeah I've got to blow it up yourself so yeah I'll, I'll blow it up and see what it's like it's quite a tough nylon it's filled with a primer loft insulation as well, which is supposed to be similar to down feathers. I know it probably won't be as good, but I think that's the idea behind it. it comes with these two bands as well to secure it when you before you put it in your carry case or whatever. Should be easy to pack away. Right, that's both mats blown up now. I mean this one's supposed to be six centimetres thick. And it's got a nice thickness to it as well, and it's slightly longer than the multi mat. I think they're both about the same width, I think they're both 50 centimetres. But I've just lay down on this one, and I do fit on it. I'm six foot four, and my heels go to about here. And they're right at the end of this one. I mean, it did feel comfortable, but this one is as well, to be fair. But considering that one's nearly half the half the weight, then it's worth it. I think it's 185 centimeters long, the Berghaus Peak Pro, and I think this one's 183. The Multimat Adventure 38, and this one's three centimeters. But what I've read of the the Berghaus one, it's supposed to be a good a good winter mat as well. I mean, people buy these cheap. Chinese rip-offs off Amazon and eBay and because they're thick they think it's really going to be a good mat but if you use it in the winter the ground's just going to the, the ground's so cold <clears throat> and then you've got the cold air coming through so what you want is a good insulated one I mean I think these are both four season mats the only thing I'll say about this one is if you're sleeping in a pine buds or something for example and a pine needle goes through it and it bursts in the night then it's just going to go flat instantly where this one it's got it's got foam built into it so if it did burst you'd still have a little bit of comfort plus you'd have the insulation as well so if you was camping in winter and you had no insulation underneath it yourself like a foil mat or whatever then this one if it bursts the cold it's going to get to you quicker so that's the only thing about buying cheap mats people think they're getting a good deal when it's just like sleeping on a lilo really and if it bursts then it's going to go completely flat so that's what I was thinking about as well because um, I am planning on doing a few winter wild camps I was going to do one tonight but it's been postponed hopefully in the next few days I'll get out and do one and I've noticed that the weather is going to drop below freezing as well in the next few days so I'm hoping to get out and do a camp in below freezing conditions just to test it all out I've got a new wool blanket as well a pure wool blanket it's like a, a Scottish tartan rug kind of thing pure wool so I'm going to use that as well yeah I just thought I'd share it because I'm the sort of person before I buy something I like to go on YouTube and check it out and I didn't see any any videos on this Berghaus one so I thought I'd, thought I'd add one 
I'm not saying they're the best match you can get or anything like that. Not sponsored or any of that kind of thing. It's just, just nice to share it sometimes. Gives other people a chance to look at it. And I'm, I'm a budget camper myself. I'm not the sort of person who's gonna go out and buy a firm rest for hundred pound. I always try and find a cheaper option. That goes for tents, anything really. Knives, I'm not the sort of person who's gonna go out and pay ridiculous amounts of money. I like to keep things on a budget. I'll try and find the best gear I possibly can for the cheapest amount. So yeah, there's the two mats. That's the Multimat Adventure 38. And that's the Burghaus Peak Pro. Both insulated mats. And both look decent. I mean, I've used this a lot of times, the, the Multimat one, and I've used it in minus conditions as well, camping. And it's, it's kept me warm. And it's comfortable as well. Not the widest, well, they're both not the widest, to be honest. But 50 centimetres seems to be the standard size for a lot of mats. I mean, you can get them bigger. But yeah, that, that should do me that. So yeah, that's the Burgos Peak Pro. It's got a really small pack size, have you seen? And it's only 480 grams as well, so it's really lightweight as well. Should have no problems fitting it in my rucksack. Should save me quite a bit of space. Yeah, it's really easy to inflate. It takes about a minute and it's very easy to get back in its pack as well. In fact, I think it's even thinner now than what it was before. Didn't take long at all. Right then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the Multimat pad down right. It does go a little bit slimmer, but you can see the size difference there. The Burgos one's a lot smaller and a lot lighter as well.